Hi everyone. So, first things first, I want to let you know that I have a connection with nature that I didn't really like. I didn't know how deep it went. Yeah, that's the best way of putting that. So, what I mean by that is I, um, like usually I can, anyone I'm sure can do this with enough practice, but naturally, you know, like talk to the sun, tell the sun to come out, I'll talk shit to the sun sometimes because I'm like, how you let the clouds overtake you? You're supposed to be shining bright. But then, you know, I had to realize that, um, clouds, contrails, chemtrails, whatever it is you want to call it, whatever it is that they are. Anyway, be telling the sun, like, you can't let them overtake you. Clouds, y'all need to move out of the way. You know, the clouds will start moving. The sun will move too. Yes, the sun will move as well. Um, and I used to do that. And I used to ask the wind to blow. And the wind would blow. Sometimes I would ask it, her, to blow harder. She would blow harder. And then I had to recognize that insects are drawn to me more so like i don't want to say the weird ones but the ones that i don't usually see like there are some like white insects that are very interesting look i don't even know how to describe them honestly but it's like random insects it's not like flies and mosquitoes and roaches and all of that not none of that but just random insects and I realized that my my whole thing with the bird I don't think that the bird was necessarily like talking shit now that I've you know had some time to think about it I just think that it was trying to warn me of my newfound reality that I was coming into and I wasn't understanding and I thought it was talking shit because it was very passionate about it but really like I just said it was passion so you know I just had another incident with the bird not necessarily like at the same level but uh, excuse me pregnant lady walking up a hill y'all gotta excuse this pregnancy breath but anyway <laughs> um the bird it was like trying to catch an insect or whatever it was and it had it but it kind of like fluttered and flew in front of me and then it dropped it and it was like oh shoot and then it like walked out of my way because I was on the sidewalk at that point it walked out of my way and it was like you know trying to let me pass so I can get back to the insect and I'm like no 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 it's all good you go ahead and it like stared at me for like I swear like two seconds and it was like all right and then just walked over to the insect insect picked it up and flew away and I was like you know this is nice it's nice being able to connect with nature on a deeper level more so like the bigger animals now so hopefully it continues to progress hopefully I'm sure it will I'm sure it will I have faith in my natural abilities if you will ah, ah, ah. but anyway what this video was really supposed to be about is meditation like I know a lot of people they think that meditation is only in one sense which is sitting down having your eyes closed clearing your thoughts doing like random mudras or whatever to try to connect maybe even listen to some little um what is it called meditation music but i am here to let you know that that is really not the case i mean that is a form of meditation don't get me wrong however let's think about this logically if you're trying to meditate and you're meditating to get answers 
how are you going to get the answers you keep clearing out the thoughts that's coming to your head okay let's look at it on a different level you are sitting in silence and while you're sitting in silence you start to get numb because we are people and we can't be sitting in one spot too long but you feel bad about moving because you're like i'm supposed to be sitting still and then you kind of get agitated and that kind of messes up your meditation that's not good right really what i want you to understand is it's a lot of traffic right now i don't, I don't get it anyway my bad. um meditation is whatever it is that helps you to think clearly listen to me again meditation is something that you do that helps you to think clearly you are meditating on a daily basis and you probably don't even know it most people meditate in the shower which is where you get those shower thoughts from like you're just like oh phew. i know i just showered but that was i got some good ideas or i got some answers in the shower right meditation or either you take a walk and you're talking to the trees and you're telling Lady Gaia or Tiamat or Kai or whatever it is that you call what most people call Mother Nature. Like, I'm talking to her and you're just like, what's up? How you doing? We can dance together or whatever. Meditation. You could chill on the beach and not say anything to anyone. Meditation. You could be having sex. Meditation. Um... Just trying to think of like any form of meditation really like anything that you can do or you do that actually helps you to have your mind flowing is meditation now there's a difference between having your mind flow and having flow state because flow state is when you're doing something and you're just doing that thing and it's just naturally happening like artists artists will be in their flow state and they're just making this painting and at first they're like into it and then the next thing they know they just kind of like go into a trance and then they pop back open or they pop back into reality and they're like man this is what i created yeah they were in flow state however for your mind to be flowing, like I said, are you turning? Oh, okay. Anyway, for your mind to be flowing is completely different because yeah, you could be focused on what you're doing or you couldn't be. Like I used to use cleaning as something to help me mentally just like unpack things. Like, yeah, sure, I'm focused on cleaning, but really the main thing is the thoughts is what do i need to unpack what is it that i've been holding on to you know so that was my form of meditation so i just wanted to talk to you guys about that i hope you guys are doing well i'm sure that you are because really the energy is changing and i think it's getting more positive honestly you know I don't know if y'all like pay attention to the skies. I know the ships and stuff are there. I'll be watching. They be having the wars in the sky. I'd be like, uh huh. Y'all ain't fooling nobody. But I don't know. Anyway, I don't know why I was even talking about that. But I want you guys to enjoy your day, enjoy your week, enjoy your month, enjoy life. Like, don't forget, whatever you put out into the universe, to whatever... I gotta get my breath. Hold on. Whatever you guys put out energetically is what you're going to receive back. Period. So, karma is real. Intentions are real. So, make sure that you are intentional and mindful which is where mindfulness comes into play about everything that you do and think because especially at this time everything is coming to fruition like super fast so you just got to remember that 
and just try to be on your best thoughts but be realistic as well like if there's an issue then there's an issue and you got to solve it don't just suppress it or repress it or whatever it's called because that's only gonna make it come back worse slingshot effect but anyway I'm done talking y'all head off I appreciate if you made it this far in the video you guys are amazing and I will talk to you later